How's it going, Nick? Thanks for doing this. Uh, it just seems like you've got this this chemistry going on with Luke. I mean, uh, 13 catches since he took over as QB. Just what's going on out there with you two? Um, well, we know each other pretty well. We hang out in uh, 650 where we live just about every day. He'll come to my room. I'll come to his room, you know, play cards and stuff. But ever since he's got on campus, he's been a guy that I've liked hanging out with. And, uh, you know, he's, he's just a respectful young man that, you know, that's, that's how chemistry is made. You hang out with somebody, you start to like them, whether it's football related or not. But uh, out here on the football field, I think he just trusts me. I think uh, I can be one of his go-to guys, as I've, I think I've proved the past two games. And uh, when he, you know, gives me the opportunity, I just got to make the plays. And luckily, that's what I've been doing the past two games. Dick Cox. When you have a game like tonight on senior night, does that at least plant that seed about maybe I want, might want to come back for another year? Um, yeah, it's definitely on my mind. Uh, I've talked to some people, um, and this is what I actually I'm not going to get into it, but uh, I've talked to some people about you know whether to go or to leave, or you know if Coach Billy comes back, I'll, I'll definitely be back. So that's a that's one thing, but uh, it just it depends. I don't, it's, it's a little late in the year, but, uh, you know, whatever happens, happens, and I'll make my decision. I don't know when I'll make it, but uh, I'm not worried about that right now. Uh, you know, we didn't get a win today, so whatever I did wasn't good enough. And that's, you know, you can call it a humble brag or whatever you want, but, you know, this wasn't even one of my best games. And you can say what you want about it. Just, yeah, just I got targeted, but at the end of the day, I, I, I like when Kevin comes off my butt and scores and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So... But I think I did my part today. You know, hopefully I'll you know come back or leave. I don't know, but that's for another day. Ben Briner. Uh, depending on if you you do leave or stay, what what kind of talent base do you sort of see from this team going forward into you know a new era with a new coach, especially with the backfield that you know Luke, Kevin, maybe Marshawn, you know, whenever he comes back next year. Uh, we got a lot of talent, and uh, we just got to put all the pieces together. Um, the one thing I do love about this team is a lot of young bucks played today, and uh, no one gave up. You know, you can look at the score and say, oh, we're down 40-something to 10 or this, that, and other, but at the end of the day, we had third strings, fourth strings. It didn't matter. Whoever was put out there, you know, they did their job. They tried their best, and uh, I just seen a, a lot of non-quitting, a lot of people who were put on the spot, and they tried to make the best of – their thing and some seniors who usually don't play got to play today so that's also a good scene but uh we didn't come out with the win so that's not something we wanted at the end of the day mike yuva nick i know that you'd want the win at the end of the day but for you personally uh to be able to have that first touchdown at the fbs level i know how much that probably means to you in terms of you know playing uh, at fcs and then being able to come here and everything you went through last year what was that feeling like to be able to finally score that first touchdown uh, it was a good feeling. Uh, usually I joke with some people. I'll try to get about to the 20, and then I'll just tell Coach Bentley I'm tired, so he'll take me out because I'm allergic to the touchdown. But, uh, no, it, it was a good feeling. Uh, we had the perfect play called. Uh, I think they got mixed up with who they had. Uh, Luke trusted me and threw it to me, and I just had open space. But it's definitely a good feeling, you know, when you got the whole stand sitting there cheering you on and stuff and, you know, just seeing the positive of a game that, you know, it wasn't close and we needed to be close, but it wasn't, so... It was a good positive at the end of the day. Colin Taylor. Nick, kind of going off an earlier point, how, how good is it to see all these young guys step up after guys have seemingly dropped like flies, whether opting out or with injuries? And just how nice is that to see? And can you kind of take me through your celebration where it looks like you, you slipped a little bit going into the end zone there? Oh, yeah, I about went down. That would have been pretty embarrassing. But it happens. Stuff like that happens. But, uh, yeah, seeing the young bucks, you know, play and – just see what they're capable of. And you got freshmen out, freshman people out there who are, you know, making plays. People like Joey Hunter, who I was watching today, out there making plays. He's in the right spots doing what he does. And that just shows that whether you're the number one guy, the number three guy, it doesn't matter. If you're sitting there paying attention in uh, the meetings and you're working your butt off in practice, you're going to get your opportunity. And some people shine today. So. Last question goes to Dick Cox. Can you talk about the, the last drive on offense, the 98-yard drive? I call it the character drive because you'd had so many bad things happen in the game, but just to be able to hang in there down 45 to 10 to drive it 98 yards and all, you know, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, it's impressive. Like I said earlier, it shows that no one wanted to quit. Um, it was some, some people's last game in Willie B, 
and uh, it showed that we we belong with those teams, whether we have you know 15 people out from injury or opt outs or whatever it is. But it just shows that whoever's out there is going to give it their all. Um, we had a miscommunication on kickoff return, which is why we started on the two. But stuff like that happens. You can't you can't let that get you down. You just got to keep rolling, keep working with it, and uh, that's the hands we were dealt. And uh, we made we made plays to get 98 yards and got in the end zone. So. All right. Thank you, Nick. Appreciate it. Appreciate Keep it. Coach Bentley.